right, looking to do a home improvement project, maybe get rid of some of that credit card debt. David Hall from Hall Financial is here with everything you would need to know. I want to talk about refinancing, David, because it, it, it is such a popular option for people that want to do these things. But rates have been higher. Yeah. Uh, so are, are, are less people actually going that route, or, or do you see a lot of a lot of people refinancing once again. Well, they, they have been, and it's a good question. So a couple of things have happened. Number one is that a home equity line of credit mm. is oftentimes a, a good idea. In other cases, a cash out refinance does make sense depending on how much cash you need and what the balance is mm -hmm. on the home. So you have to do an evaluation. I mean, if you had a low balance and you want to take a lot of cash out, mm -hmm. that could make more sense. But I think what's happened is that since we've come off of those, you know, unbelievably low rates from 18 months ago, right. as we get further and further away from that, life happens. And so for folks that need cash, they want to consolidate debt, they want to do some home improvements, you really have to look at how to structure that because equity in your home Mm -hmm. is a very popular way to take cash so that you can do some different things. And when you talk about credit card debt, some of the interest rates on that credit card debt yeah. is insane. So, Well, the Fed has raised, raised rates up until last yeah. time 10 times in a row, uh -huh. and credit card debt and uh, auto loans kept mm -hmm. going up and up and up. So, yeah, for folks with credit card debts, they've got to figure out a way to get rid of that because if you're not making progress, you're paying mm -hmm. way too much interest. Now, this time around, the Fed did not raise right. interest rates for the first time in over a year or so. So uh, what do you see then? Do you anticipate more people taking a look at this now then? I think they could. You know, the Fed meets next at the end of July, and I think it's really 50-50 if they're going to raise at that time. So you've got a little bit of a reprieve right now before mm. potentially rates go up. We know we know they're not going to lower rates at that time. Mm. So, you know, this pause, because the inflation data has been getting better, I think is a real positive thing for consumers, especially if you've been thinking about doing something. A lot of folks don't know that right now, if you pay a point or two, you can lock in a rate still in the fives. Right. So historically, you know, rates are not that crazy. They're just high compared to when everybody could get 3% a couple years ago. So I think it just depends on your perspective. But overall, you're in a good spot right now, whether you're purchasing or looking to refinance because the Fed did pause and I think you're going to get a little market relief. And that question itself, though, whether to purchase or refinance always seems like a big one. Should I put more money into my home or should I list it and buy another home? That's always a big question. It's a seller's market yeah. right now. There's no question about it. There are way more buyers than there are sellers. So if you've been thinking of selling for some reason, you can certainly get top dollar. Mm. Then you've got to evaluate, you know, where you're going to go, which is the dip more difficult question. But for folks that have taken advantage of this market by selling, because, you know, right now, if you put a nice home up on the market, you are getting multiple offers in the first couple days. I mean, above you, ask. <laughs> above ask. And a lot of times, folks, we're back to folks waiving appraisal contingency. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're really in the driver's seat right now as a seller if you're looking to sell a home right now. And if you're a buyer, you got to be really patient because you're going to make offers on homes that you may not get. What do you think is the reason for such low inventory on the market? Right? Is it the interest rates? Is it people have the, those rates locked in at three from a couple of years ago and, and don't want to move up a little bit to a five, six, seven percent rate? That's a big part yeah. of it, certainly. And then coupled with the fact that housing values have continued to gone up, which is mm. a good thing. So now you're going to pay more for that new home you want mm. with a higher interest rate. So you just got to make sure that you can handle mm. that. But I think it's kind of two things. If values had gone down a little bit, I think that you'd have like it wouldn't be the same situation. But rates have gone up. Housing values have continued to gone up. So the affordability is tough until folks can catch up with it. So you kind of got a perfect story. A lot of the data that I'm reading about says 2024, we will see more homes coming to the market. I think as we get further and further away from the time period where folks can get that two and three quarter or three percent rate that they said they were never going to mm -hmm. give up, they will give it up because life happens. Love it. Yeah. Uh, David Hall, I cannot let you get out of here without giving me a Lions prediction. Oh. I know you're a big football fan. All the uh, way this year. <laughs> All the way this year. You know I'm in we on it. All it. the way. We got it. I love the draft. I love everything. I love it. Let's go. I'm in. Uh, callhallfirst.com for more information. Callhallfirst.com or you can give them a call. 866-CALL-HALL.